So our second race of the five here at Ascot is race six on your car. The known novice is Chase Craig 2, would you believe it? Of the two miles and three furlongs, the long pulls for Joshua Sutherland is number one, William the Conqueror for Leon Van Rensburg, Corletto Petico for Darren Thompson, Hip to be Square for Joshua Sutherland, the Ice King for Leon Van Rensburg, Ozark Slipper for Vinnie Gerard, and Craig Allen's Wild Neat and Young Ones make up eight. So a small field here. My last comma of the day before I hand you over to Martin. Oh no, he hasn't turned up yet. They're racing here. So the Noel Novice is great to chase. And they get to the first of the 15. We're all over it. And we're being led by the Ice King. To the second, the big ditch. Let's slow over that one. We're pretty much together here. The Ice King goes towards forward again. It is the Ice King from the long pools and wild neat out wide up against the fences, Coletto Petico. Wider still is hip to be square, William Conqueror winds to ball, Ozark slipper and young ones towards the rear. But the Ice King now got himself happily out in front by about three or four from Coletto Petico and wild neat. In between those is the long pools. Wide still is William the Conqueror and hip to be square. A little bit slower, that was the leader as well as Ozark slipper at the rear. As we come along the side the grandstand now, another circuit to go. It's the Ice King that's going to lead them. William the Conqueror has moved into second now. It's the fifth, which will be the last next time round. Everybody's over it. So it's the Ice King that leads us a little Ben Rensburg from his stable mate William the Conqueror out wide. Coming towards the fences, hip to be square, the long pulls, and up against the fences, core. Tito Petico, Corletto Petico, and then Wild Neat, just at the Rio Zark Slipper and the Young Ones. As we go past the ambulance and the big stands here at Ascot, it's the Ice King that's going to lead them on out. A mile and a half still to go. It's the Ice King. By that five to William the Conqueror, hip to be square in the long pools, and Corletto Petico. On that side of that is Ozark Slipper and Wild Neat, and the Young Ones being hurried along. So as you get to the six, the leader stood off that one a little bit. He had to be swimming the concrete and get over a tall well and shuffles back now and loses his uh, second position. So still the Ice King. Well, the Ice King's all having a hold now as we come into the seventh. Steadies himself, gets over it well, but better jumps by hip to be square in the long pause. Then we've got William Conqueror in fourth. Those up slipper is fifth. Young ones is fifth. Uh, six, sorry, and then Wild Neaton. Corletto Petico bring up the rear as they go over the ditch. They all stream over that well. The Ice King's under a little bit of pressure every now and again, not particularly jumping well from hip to be square on the outside. The long pause, William Conqueror making up ground. So go over the ninth this time, both Ice King and hip to be square made mistakes. The Ice Queen King's managed to hang on to his lead from William the Conqueror, who's now moved into second. Hip to be square and long pause are following through. Then Ozark Slipper and Corletto Petico moving out wide is the young ones, but it is still Ice King being joined by William the Conqueror, so stable mates of Leon Van Rensburg year 1 2 as we come down to the final three quarter mile. And it's the Ice King from Long William the Conqueror, the long plaws, hip to be square. They all go over the 10th well together. The better jump was the Ice King, so Ice King still holds the lead from the long plaws and hip to be square as they get to the 11th. This time the Ice King didn't get over it well and has been swamped by the long plaws and hip to be square as they get to the 12th. They come thick and fast now with three to go, and it's the long plaws and hip to be square as they get to the 13th with just two left to jump. It's now the long pause. Leads by a length to hip to be square. Ozark Slipper moving well on the outside. Ice King and William the Conqueror have still got a lot to do. Cor Corletto Petico hasn't asked for anything yet but it's the long pause up against the fence inside the final half mile with just two to jump. It's the long pause pulling away by a couple of lengths now from Ozark Slipper. Hip to be square. Wild Neat on the wide outside still trying to run on. As they get down to the penultimate the leader's over it well and gets away from it. And it's the long pause by about four to hit to be square wild knee ozark slipper the long pulls is starting to tire up now as we start to go uphill here inside the final quarter mile it's the long pulls as they approach the last from wild knee running on really well the long pulls got to take it well he does from the wild knee in second ozark slipper is third running on well now as coletto Petico. but it's the long pulls of josh sutherland links by half a length here comes coletto Petico. wild knee's got nothing left but it's the long pulls that's going to take this the long pulls are going to take the null novices great to chase from Coletto Petico in second. I think it hit to be square for Josh Allen, but up to third. And Wild Neat for Craig Allen was fourth.
So that is a good win there for the long pulls. Takes it from Darren Thompson's Corletto by Tico. Third was hip to be square for Josh Sutherland. Fourth was wild neat for Craig Allen. And fifth was William the Conqueror. I'll hand you over to Martin now who's going to try and slide into my seat.